have for the PHL Sunday morning news on this Sunday morning, October 25th, 2015. Ah! Got it, got it, got it! Good morning, y'all. This lovely Sunday morning, October 25th, 2015. Here, here are your news and I. Zero to that right here at 8.30 on the Sunday morning. Here is children and infants made up almost a quarter of those injured when a car crashed into the Crowds at the Oklahoma State University Parade Saturday killed four people, including a two-year-old. Still want to Oklahoma police said and said today. Democratic presidential candidate Tilly Robin Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders and former Maryland Governor Martin Valley make their cases in Iowa. The math is simple, but the potential weather consequences are talked up to 20 inches of rain that followed over parts of Texas over the last few days, breaking some local rain records. In 2016, there are 14 Republican presidential candidates who model making us both the benchmark for the conservative values and a lone star of conservative ideas. Tony Blair says he's sorry for Iraq war mistakes, but not for Aston Saddam Hussein. Pope Francis has said they delivered an extraordinary rebuke to church, church elders at the close of the landmark of summit on the family here, such as the day been too dogmatic and quick to exclude the broader array of people deserving of gods. Patricia, the strongest hurricane ever recorded at sea, approached Mexico's Pacific coast with a such ferocity that one official predicted it would become the most dangerous storm in history. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad reiterated his focus on eliminating the threat to terrorists in his country, he said something that would lead to a political solution that Syrians seek to progress as they have endured for war. Riyadh, the United States and Saudi Arabia agreed to increase support to Syria's moderate opposition while seeking a political resolution of the four-year conflict the U.S. said. Nairobi, Tanzania went to the polls Sunday for the most closely contested election in its history and the first that poses a substantial challenge to its one party rule. President Obama pushes to cap students' tests in time. Couples who can take Clark, Kim Davis, married as Karen Robbins and Eric Will to renew their vows at the public ceremony on Saturday in Warren, Kentucky. Waves caused by El Nino of California's resident surge to purchase for the choice ahead of an El Nino event already forming the Pacific Ocean. Pedro and South Carolina, F-40 say they have seized thousands of guns from a house and warehouse in South Carolina as Chesapeake County Sheriff Jay Brooks tells WVTV that deputy seized more than 7,000 guns from the property near Pageland. At HSBC, Global Investment Seminar New York last week, some of the top strategies from Europe's largest bank played under the outlook from global markets and economies. New York, the Nasdaq in one an index dominated by U.S. technology stocks may set a record high next week held by good earnings from Apple Incorporated and expected on Tuesday. Five years followed the merger between United Airlines and Continental Airlines that created the airline United Continental. The company and its mechanic team said on Friday they had reached a tentative accord on the first short labor deal since. Given that the official stats of the Chinese Communist Party that the Chinese economy can and will go at 6 to 7 percent in the coming years. It's not all that much of a surprise to hear official economists stated that the China's economy can, will grow. Our team of astronomers have discovered 250 tiny galaxies that have existed 609 million years after the Big Bang observations and the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope event. Taking advantage of the gravitational lens to reveal the larger sample. If you want to play in the quantum sandbox, you have to accept some bizarre rules. You have to accept that a single thing exists in two states, what's lavender and black and white until it's observed and measured in some way at which point. Different people have been suffering from different forms of hair loss, yet none of the treatments offered today were proven successful to reduce hair growth. As the man, 7.9 million kids in the U.S. live in food insecure households. That means that there's not always enough to eat at home. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women in the United States, but the survival rates of breast cancer have never been better. Overall, the survival rate of the women in newly diagnosed with breast cancer approaches 9%. Toronto, a cranial clavicle or joint dysplasia is common in shoulder injury that is treated by orthopedic surgeons, as non-surgical patients showed greater mobility than the surgical patients had follow-up sessions six weeks and three months. The arrest Greenwich Police to Mobile Arts, asking about public health and located a missing 14-year-old girl. The 14-year-old named Kaylee Lynchett was born last evening. Peter Chalduzai, Bank 34, tied out for a spot support here. 
The New England Patriots will square off against the New York Jets at Gillette City of at 1 o'clock. Nothing big was supposed to happen in week 8, but by Saturday night, we are once again left speechless to scratch our hands as Georgia Tech, which lost five games, ago, was considered one of the country's biggest disappointments. But it had a walk off victory against Florida State at the final play. New York, when Matt Harvey steps off the cuff from the stadium about Tuesday sometime after 8 or 7 p.m. in the moment of the first inning on game one, he will embody the very essence of what has got an event in the World Series. Kansas City, Missouri, when Air Cosmo faced a single down. In the right field line, Renzo came, came far and ride the second and played for a job interview. Lydia Corn, New Zealand gets a nine stroke victory at LPGA Taiwan Championship at Miramar Resort and Country Club in Taipei. Barry Chell News Live is now 8.35. It is time to offer a travel report. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look at the map here as we see 95 here on the south by the side. We got an accident here or West Greenwich here. So expect the delays here. 130 on the eastbound side. So for James Dodd to Newport via the Newport Bridge here. Route 1 on both ends around Gillette Stadium a little slow here. But expect Gillette City Barrier to be busier than usual on this Sunday because of the Patriots-Jets game here. And on Route 3 at all. Northbound side of the Daxon around Route 60 out, Route 44 in Plymouth, so expect for delays here. And up in Maine here, on the main turn back of the South Attack, then exited after the Falcons first, so expect for delays here. But otherwise, a spill of sales can be up here on this Sunday morning on highways and byways in New England here. As subway system is looking good here. Computer rail looking good and on the ferries they are looking good. Peter Chell News Live 837 here. Tada for a Tana kind of for a weather report here. And looking at the radar situation it shows a lot of rain shots off the southern bay coast and stretching down food. Cape Ann, Greater Boston and up to North Plymouth and Bristol counties and around Norfolk County and stretching all the way down in eastern Connecticut and down for eastern Long Island here. And another line of rain showers stretching from between Greenfield and Apple, stretching up to the Cockroach area. Here. here, and time in the showers, they are all moving to the east. Here, okay, seven day forecast. And we see some rain showers from Torrington stretching it out for South Central New York. Here. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this. Today, check the showers. Maybe before 2 p.m., Cloud Scott, how about 60 degrees? Suffering about 5 to 7 miles coming in the west of the afternoon. Winds are going to get high. It's 21 miles an hour. Just pages 50 percent. New principal about less than 10 minutes possible. So, if you're going to the Chutley Halloween Parade, bring a, some rain gear with you just in case. Here. As people are going to be showing their spirits in the town of Norton. Here. That. Most coast guys about 35 degrees, north for about 6 miles an hour here. Monday, South Coast about 6 degrees, north for about 3 to 5 miles an hour here. Monday night, most coast guys about 32 degrees, call wind. Tuesday, South Coast about 54 degrees, call wind. Tonight, Chet May may after 5 a.m. Park Coast guys about 32 degrees and Chet Space is 30 percent. Wednesday, rain like may after 11 a.m. Most coast guys about 6 degrees and Chet Space is 70 percent. With that, showers low about 55 degrees and chest patients 9%. Thursday, check the showers before 5 p.m. Most guys got about 68 degrees and chest patients 40%. Thursday, podcast got about 43 degrees. Friday, most of us got about 54 degrees. Friday night, most of us got about 34 degrees. Saturday, South guys about 51 degrees. Here, currently in Norton, 56 degrees. The humidity 77%. And some showers in the air. And that is going to be it for the Peter Chell. Morning, Sunday morning news on this Sunday morning, October 25th, 2015. Beauty, have a good morning with a good positive attitude here.